legs to your hips. Relax the jaw with open palms. Breathe in your own focus word, your intention, something that you want to continue to set your mind on throughout our practice today in this hour. Inhale that in now. Breathe in. Take your exhale. Let something go that's not serving you. And then slowly and carefully take the elbows out to your sides in a goal pose position. Now let your arms open and your chest open. If your hips are starting to bother you, you can always extend your feet onto the mat or keep them in recline butterfly. As we're working to open our hips today, we're stretching out, releasing tension in our low back. Everyone, slowly and carefully inhale in, fill up the belly with open arms. Exhale. Good, so take your right foot, plant it down on the ground, knee comes up to the ceiling, left foot plants down on the ground, inch your feet out to the edges of your mat, open your right knee, turn in your left knee, inner rotating right, and then inner rotating left. Taking this recline 90 90 stretch. Again, today, greet yourself with some more compassion, a little more grace, and flexibility today. Take a long, deep inhale in, and one more. And then allow the knees to splay inward. Your feet are on the outsides of your mat. Your knees are just turning inward. Just feel that inner rotation of your hips. Almost trying to touch the knees together with the feet on the edges of the mat. And now slowly tippy-toe your feet all the way in. Lift your right knee up, your left knee up. Take your hands, press your knees against your hands. Pull your hands against your knees. Create some friction here, breathe in. Exhale, put your hands down, lift your hips up in a bridge position. Roll the shoulder blades up and underneath, kind of puff up the chest even more, inhale. Exhale. Lower down for four, three, two, one. Right knee comes back up, left knee comes up, now cross your hands, right knee crosses, the right hand crosses over the left hand, hands come back to knees, create that pressure, lift the head up for an inhale, activating the deep core, and now an exhale, down all the way, feet down, hips lift in your bridge position, take the hands down, clasp the hands under the hips, Roll the shoulder blades back down and under, and work to puff up and open your chest. Inhale in. Exhale. Hold this for one more breath. Try to puff up and open your chest. And then exhale. Slowly lower down for four, three, two, and one. Right knee hugs into the chest, left knee hugs into the chest. Notice how those hip flexors are feeling. Circle the ankles, extend the feet straight up to the ceiling. Everyone, reach up for your toes. Recline, pike stretch here. Maybe reach for the toes, maybe lift the head up, reach for the ankles or the Achilles, and then maybe move your hands back down to your calves. Roll the shoulder blades back and down. Just noticing the hamstrings right now. We're starting our practice. And then hug the knees all the way and start to rock forward and rock back, massaging the spine, massaging the neck. Three more of these, so don't rush this. Feel the spine being just massaged by the ground, in and up, a breath in, no need to perform in here today. Good. Just be on the four corners of your mat all the way up. Everyone, come to the center of your mat. Take your legs out in a butterfly position. Hold one to your pinky toes. Try to lift your chest up. Inhale, and now exhale. Bend the elbows. Try to keep your spine straight. Elbows come in front of your shins. Inhale, lift the chest. Try to straighten the spine. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Try to open the hips even more. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. 
Straighten the arms, lift the chest, exhale, lower. Beautiful work, everyone. Turn the feet down, take the hands back behind you. Work to start to just lift the hips in a tabletop position here, lifting the hips up high, inhale. And exhale, slowly top all the way down, extend the legs out. Inhale, reach the arms up, flex the feet, reach the hands up and forward, lengthening the spine, and then inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Take the right knee into the chest, hug it in, bring the foot up and over, let it cross the body. Plant the right hand down, left arm lifts up first, lengthen, and then twist. Loop the thumb and the index finger together, gaze over your right shoulder, lift your spine and your chest more. Breathe in, and exhale. Good, everybody, unwind the arms only, twist to the other direction. Twisting can be so good to help us reduce any bit of floating or tension in our abdominals. Lift through the abdominals, inhale, lift the spine, and then exhale, come back to the center. Take your right blood right inside, and notice how your knee feels. If it's bothering you here, take it down to your shin. But lift, everyone, take a moment, press the palm on the knee, and then flex the left foot. Reach forward for the left foot, and then maybe reach the right hand up and around. Maybe you want to take one of your blocks. You can place your head on top of the block and reach forward here, stretching through the right hip and the left hamstring. Relax the jaw. Slowly walk the hands all the way back. You can remove the block, extend the legs out. Option to hold here. You can just press into the ground, lifting the chest, or taking the hips all the way up in that full reverse plank position. Breathe in. Exhale. Slowly with control, lower down. And then reach the arms all the way up. Flex the feet, reach the arms forward. And then reach the arms straight up. Left knee hugs in. Hug it in really tight, tight, tight. Maybe even reach for the toes here, and then plant the foot right down on the mat, hug the knee in, even still, left hand down, right arm lifts up, and then full twist. Gaze over the left shoulder, loop the thumb and the index finger together, gaze over, breathe in, after we're going to breathe through our twist, exhale. Right hand down, left arm comes up and over to the other direction. Ready, spinal twist here, breathe in, lift the chest, beautiful work everyone. And then right back to the center, take that foot up and in to the left side, good, of your right groin. Again, left hand goes on the knee, notice how the hips are feeling. I can feel a lot of tension in one and not a lot in the other, so just know our body is totally different on each side. Reach forward, reach for those right toes. If you can reach the toes, try to pull the toes back. Option as well to drop the forehead or the block and rest the hands next to your calf. Resist the urge to rush or to hurry. You gain the most bit of flexibility when you lean in. Lean in. Slowly lift the chest all the way back up. Extend the legs out. Option to take tabletop or reverse plank. Big inhale in. And exhale. Slowly here, if they come all the way down, great work. Circle the knees around. Everyone come to all fours on your mat, hands directly under your shoulders. Three rounds of cat cow. Take it at your own pace. So inhale, gaze up and exhale round. Do that three times. If you'd like to take any other posture here, like if you want to weave a hand under, you can do so. But taking these rounds of cat cow, inhaling and exhaling. When you're done with your third round, bring your toes together, split your knees out, drop back into your first child's pose. The first child's pose, plant your palms into the ground, push your hips back closer towards your heels, and then drop the forehead all the way down to the ground. Breathe in, and exhale. One more, full inhale in, lift the back, Exhale, let go, forehead drops, hands come together out in front of you in the prayer position, and then bring the thumbs to the small behind your neck, stretching in the shoulders and opening the triceps. Walk the hands all the way down, come all the way back up to all fours, so we bring your knees right underneath your hips. 
walk your hands back. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. And then exhale, right hand to your right hip, left hand to your left hip, open the chest, and lift through the upper back. Inhale. Modify camel pose, press the hips forward. Slowly come all the way back down, bring the hands all the way back down to the ground, press the right heel back, and then bring the right knee into the nose, and then press it all the way back. So I want you to point your toe as your knee comes in, flex your foot as it goes back. Inhale, notice if you're carrying tension in your shoulders here. Press, big inhale in, big exhale out. One more time, inhale. Exhale, hold, left arm now lifts. Gaze is down on your right thumb. Take a breath in. And an exhale. Hand goes down, your left knee pivots. Foot plants down on the ground and reach your right arm all the way up. Push the hips forward, everyone, an inch. Good, now reach your right arm over your head. Feel that full body, side body stretch. Good, now kick your right foot back behind you an inch and your right arm behind you and really open through the chest and the shoulders. Beautiful, inhale in and exhale. So they come all the way back to the center. Let's take one round of cat-cow together. Shake out the head if you need to. Gaze up and then round through the upper back. Really push through the upper back here. Good, and then slowly come back to knees. If you want to take a block with you, you can take a block here. If you want it to come into a dancing camel pose where one arm is back, you can always take one hand to your hip and one arm up to the ceiling. Good, hold that for one breath in. One exhale, and then switch hands. Left hand comes by either the left heel or the block, and then reach all the way up and back. Breathe in. Push the hips forward. Squeeze the glutes to protect the spine here. Good, everyone. All the way back down to the ground. Take the right foot. Press it back. Good. Square the hips first right here. Head shakes no. Release neck tension. Press into your heel. Bring the knee in. Round the back. Point the toe. Flex the foot. Breathe in. Worshiping through movement. Sinking your breath with every movement. Inhale. If you feel your mind start to head off the mat, maybe onto someone else's mat, or off the mat into your car, come back to your focus word, your intention. Stay right here. Take a breath in. Exhale. One more time. Breathe in, round. Exhale, press, turning on the back body. Right arm lifts. Breathing in, lift through the low belly, hold. Resist the urge to rush this. Find that stability here. And then hand goes down, pivot your right knee, plant the left foot on the ground, your right arm reaches up to the ceiling to start. Push the hips forward, everyone. Feel that that small adjustment. Then left arm comes over the head, breathe in. Left foot kicks back an inch, left arm maybe opens up, breathe in, opening through the chest, the hip, the shoulder. So they come back to the center, round through the upper back. Inhale, gaze up. Exhale, round. Knees together, child's pose. Feet all the way together. Drop down, child's pose. Turn the palms up to the ceiling. Receive. Notice the inner rotation of the shoulders. Relax the fingertips. Take a breath in. And then exhale. One more full breath in. Breathe in. I'd love to see your back rise as you inhale. And then let it fall as you exhale. Just let something go. Turn the palms all the way back down. Come up to all fours for me. Everyone, I want you to take your right knee out to the side. Kick it out to the side. Place it down. If you get close to your neighbor's mat, that's okay. Good, turn your pinky toe down. Start to rock forward and rock back in gate pose. Maybe you pull back even further. Just notice how the hips are feeling. Good, and then hold with your foot out to the side. 
my cat cow here. Inhale, look up. Deep hip stretch. Exhale, round. Good. Now walk the hands all the way back. Come up to that one knee. If your knee's bothering you, you can double pad your knee up. Arms all the way up. And then reach your right hand to your right leg. Side body stretch. Good. And here's where it gets fun. Take your left hand all the way down to the ground and reach over. Tell your neighbor good morning. Good. And then slowly, with your abdominals, plant your foot down, lift the arms up and reach back over to the other side. Really great oblique work. Push the hips forward. And then up, 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 and over to the other side. Good, breathe in. Exhale, back up. One more time, reach over that straight leg. Good, now bring the hands all the way back down to the ground. Pull all the way back, maybe you take your block. Place it underneath your forehead. Leg is out to the side. Really stretch the adductor here. Try to press all of those right toes onto the mat. Good, beautiful work, Lauren. Nice and easy. Relax the neck, the shoulders, your jaw. Awesome job, Susan. I love the use of blocks in here today, everyone. Breathe in. Exhale, remember the breath prayer. Breathe in. My presence will go with you. Exhale out, and I will give you rest. So lean carefully, come all the way up for me. Scoop now that right foot all the way out to the side, and now lean into your right leg, low lunge. Bring your right arm all the way up, low lunge, twist. Good, now leave your right arm under your left, and then reach it right back up. This posture, it needs a smile. Inhale, reach the arms up and weave it under. Inhale and exhale. Really good for your thoracic spine, your upper back, your neck. Inhale, round. Exhale, lift. Two more times. Inhale and exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Everyone, plant both hands down. Inch your foot over even further to the side. Take a moment, use your right elbow to open your right knee, lean forward. Maybe grab a block and rest your elbows on your block at any level of the block, level one, two, or three, and drop all the way down and sink into the lizard pose. If you feel any knee tension, you can always turn your bottom toes under. You can always pad your mat. Take a breath in, head shakes now. And then exhale, lean in to where you feel the tension. Maybe rock a little left, rock a little right. So I walk the hands all the way back. Inch the foot into the inside. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, open. Twist, the left elbow comes over that right knee. And then come back to the center. Lean back. And then everybody, arms all the way up high, and then hands come down. Walk the hands all the way back, half split. Full split is also an option, or you can walk the hands all the way back. Just take it at whatever it is that you need right here. Take a breath in. We'll be here for about three breaths. And then take a breath in. Hips are square, everyone. I want to encourage you to flex your foot. And maybe point your toe now. And then flex. Point. This song came out a couple of weeks ago. It's called Slower I Go. And I think I've deemed it my song for summer. I want, I want to repeat this over and over again. Let's slow some things down this summer. Point that toe, flex the foot, walk the hands over to the right side, reach, 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 big stretch, big stretch, big stretch, the side body, breathe in, exhale, one more breath in, lift, stretch the IT band, to your hands are over to the side, feel the stretch of the IT band, drop down, walk the hands all the way back forward, lean forward, low lunge, tuck the back toe under, lift the back Hands come back behind you in what's called an airplane lunge. And then 
reach the arms all the way up to crescent lunge. Start to just wake up that right quadricep muscle. Hold. Elbows open. Stretch the chest. Strengthen the spine. Reach the arms all the way back up. Hands come down. Step the foot back. Slowly drop the knees down and inhale. Come to Cobra Pose. Good. Pull the hands back, everyone. Lift the palms off the ground. Hands down, head down. Move the hips left and right. Inhale back to Cobra. I want to encourage you here. Activate the glutes. Or upward facing dog. Either one. And then slowly come down. Move the hips left and right. Forehead reaches the mat. Inhale, lift the chest. And now maybe potentially lift all the way back up. All the way down. We're going to do that one more time. You have the option throughout the whole practice to take either cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, child's pose. Knees wide. Take a breath in. And an exhale. Really take this moment here to stretch the hips with the wide hips. Breathe in. Fill the back. Exhale. One last inhale. Let me see your back rise. Exhale. So lean carefully. Rise all the way back up for me. You're going to take your right leg up. Maybe take a few knee circles or your left leg. Sorry, left leg up to the side. There you go. Like, oh, we're going to right leg again. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> left leg circles. Kind of like what day it is, right? No one knows this week what day it is. Take that leg out to the side, into that gate pose over here, out to the side, and start to rock forward and rock back. If your shoulders are bothering you, you're starting to feel some neck tension, I don't want this practice to be about shoulder work today. I want it to be about stretching and opening your hips, releasing low back tension. You can always drop to elbows. Good, now hold one round of pack. Here, want you to feel that. Exhale, round. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round. Walk the hands now all the way back. Reach the arms up. And then left hand over to that left straight leg. Side body stretch. Push the hips forward an inch. Notice that. And then exhale, up and over to the side. Reach that left arm over. Push the hips forward. And then plant the left foot down and using the abdominals, peel the right hand up. Kind of like a sunrise. Ah, lift up and over. Good, side, 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 hips forward, hips forward. Good, one more time, over to the side. Stretch the side body. Good, great oblique work. Lift, 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 all the way up and over that straight leg last time. Good, all the way back down with the hands and then pull all the way back to whatever would feel best to you to stretch through that left inner thigh, that left adductor, really release it here. And play with where your foot is. If you don't feel that great stretch, move the left foot up, move the left foot back. Once your foot lands someplace, it doesn't mean it has to stay there. Notice how it's feeling. Make the adjustment to get what you need today. Breathe in. It's your time on the four corners of your mat. Come back to your focus word, your intention. Breathe it in. Exhale. So then here they come all the way back up for me. Scoop that left foot out by the left side. Lean forward. Left elbow goes on the left knee. Open the left knee. Coming into lizard pose on the left side. So taking the elbows all the way down to the block or the ground. The goal here is to really open to the left knee and the left hip. Good. Love all the options in here. Love the use of the blocks. Take a breath in. Long exhale. Such power in our breath. Take a breath in. Power to calmness. Power to come into the present moment. Exhale. Take one more breath here. Leaning into opening through the hips. 
Walk the hands all the way up, remove the block to the side, inch the foot into the center. Inhale, the arms up a bit. Exhale, wide opening, twist the right elbow, right elbow, close that left knee. Really hold here, try to open that left elbow up a little further. And then come back and reach. And then lean forward, hold that low lunge, feel that dragging of the hip. And then walk the hands back. Half split, full split, or pull all the way back. Gorilla arms, great option. Blocks, also a good option here. Maybe you use the blocks to grab the toe. Take a breath in. And exhale, maybe full split. Just calling your name today. Good, maybe this half split, point the toe, and now flex the foot. Point, and flex. Use your breath right here, one more breath in. And exhale. Walk the hands forward for me, plant the right hand down, lift the left arm, low lunge twist. Beautiful. Everyone now leave that left arm under and then reach the left arm high. Inhale, round the back. Exhale, open. Inhale, round. Exhale, open. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Hand down, tuck the back toe under. Lift and hold in your low lunge. Everyone. Feel how the toes feel. Feel the low lunge. Square the hips. Bring the hands back behind you. Activate the triceps. Squeeze the back leg. Hold this. Good. Then lift high with the arm with intention and strength. Good. Breathe in. Exhale. Hands down. Step back. Take your full flow here. So you'll start in plank. Dropping your knees down, coming into cobra or upward facing dog. And then downward facing dog. Beautiful, everyone. Let's alternate our feet here, bending the knees left and right. A real first downward facing dog. Take some time to walk your dog here, bend the left knee, bend the right knee. Everyone, shake the head side to side, no. Shake it, no, big, bigger. Good, flop around the lips. Woo! Good. Take a breath in. And an exhale. Press back. Good. One more time. Inhale. And then exhale. Walk the feet up to the hands. Slow. Slow walk. Slow walk the feet up. Hold the elbows. You can bend the knees slightly or keep the legs straight. Rag dog. Rock right. Rock left. Everyone release their neck. Relax your jaw. Notice if you're clenching. Let the head and the shoulders feel like a rolling ball. And now release the hands down, bend the knees intentionally. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Hands come to heart center, hold. Good, inhale, arms up. Gaze up, hands touch. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale, hands to shins, straight spine. Exhale, hands down, right foot back, left foot back. Take your full flow here. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Now you know if at any point you want to move through that, add a push up. You're more than welcome to. This is your practice. Also, if you just want to skip the whole vinyasa and make me a downward dog, that's also an option. And if through the practice you're like, I need to rest in child's pose, do so. This is your time on your mat. Inhale, look to the front of the mat. Tippy toe the feet forward. Bend the knees. Rise with intention. Hands touch together. Drag them in through the center. Come back to your focus work. Be grounded with your feet. Inhale, the arms back up. Hands touch. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale, lift through the spine. Step the left foot back, the right foot back, and now take your flow. Feel the plank when you move from that movement into the plank, upward dog, downward dog. 
Good. One breath. All together here. Inhale. And exhale. Look to the front of the mat. Step, walk, or float forward now. Inhale. The arms up. Touch. Exhale. Hands to heart center. Reground. Inhale. The arms up. Exhale. All the way down. Inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale. Step, walk, or now jump back. And take your flow. Inhale again. Take this at whatever pace you need. Exhale. Downward facing dog. We'll meet a downward facing dog. We'll all take a breath together. Inhale. We're building some heat in the body right here. Take a breath in. And then exhale. Look to the front of the room. Step walk or lightly jump forward. Good. Rise high. Big arms. We have room in here. Exhale. Hands to heart center. Good. Inhale. Lift. Exhale, float. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hands plant and you step, walk, or jump back and take your full flow. We'll move through one more of those. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Notice in the downward facing dog here. Pedal out the feet again. Walk the dog. Beautiful job, everyone. Notice how the toes are feeling. I want you to really stretch the bottom of the foot. Good. Press back into the heels. Look to the front of the mat. Step walk or jump forward. Rise high. Ground the hands back down in the heart center. Reach high. Exhale. Float. Lift the chest. Exhale. Step walk or float back. And we'll be in downward facing dog. Exhale. Beautiful work, everyone. Once we meet a downward facing dog, take your right foot up to the ceiling. Three-legged dog, bend the knee, open through the hip. Peek out underneath the right armpit. Lift the leg up to the ceiling, switch legs. Left leg lifts, bend the knee, open through the chest and the hip. Inhale, peek out underneath the left armpit. Exhale, lift the leg up to the ceiling, slowly float the foot back. Inhale, float down to knees for me, carefully. Good, lift the chest. We're coming into the full camel pose here. Arms all the way up. And exhale. So option to take the hands here. Option to tuck the toes under and reach back for your heels. You can do option one, dancing camel, or one arm is up. Or you can take both hands back and lift and open the chest. Take a breath in. And exhale, push the hips forward, squeeze the glutes. Take one last full breath here, and then come all the way forward for me. Good, one round of cat-cow, look up. And exhale, round, and really lift through the upper back. Good, everyone, come to elbows for me. Tuck the toes, lift the hips here, dolphin pose. Take a moment, stretch out the hips, the heels, maybe move the wrists around for a moment. Good, drop to knees, hands come all the way back underneath you, float the right foot in between the hands, tuck the back toe under, lift, hands back behind you, airplane lunge, lift the arms up, crescent lunge, open the arms, warrior two. Good, everyone, flip the palm, peaceful warrior, inhale. And exhale, cartwheel the arms all the way down, pivot your back foot, step your foot back, and take your full flow. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, pedal out the feet again, bend the left knee, bend the right knee, shake the head, relax the jaw. Float back to your knees. Now I say float because I want you to use the abdominals. You can easily just drop to knees, but when you go slow, use the abs. Scoop that left foot in between the hands. Good. Tuck the back toe under. Hands push back behind you. Airplane lunge. Lift the arms up. Crescent lunge. Open up, warrior two. Sink in. Open the hips. Hold this. No neck tension here. Flip the palm. Peaceful warrior. Inhale. And exhale, cartwheel the arms down, 
Take your full flow here. Again, leading me in downward facing dog is also an option if you don't want to take the full flow. This is your time on your back. We will meet downward facing dog. Shake out the head, shake it yes, smile. We made it to Friday. Woo! Last day of May. Take a big inhale in. And exhale. Everyone float to knees. Really good hip mobility here. Scoop the left foot in between the hands. Tuck the back toe under. Good. Airplane lunge. I love this because this sets you up for success with your crescent lunge. Gaze down at the front center of your mat and scoop the arms up. Then open up warrior two. Flip the palm, peaceful warrior. Bend that right knee. Good, now straighten the right knee. Beautiful. Everyone, cartwheel the arms slowly down to triangle pose. Right hand to the shin, the block, or the ground. Either one, push the hips forward. Breath in. Exhale. Everyone, take your left hand now down to the ground. Take your right hand over to your right pinky. Pivot your back foot. Oh, it's a long pyramid. Springboard it up. And now you're in pyramid pose. Feel free to use your block here in pyramid pose. Both hips are straight. Your hips like headlights. Hold right here, pyramid pose. Beautiful. Springboard your foot all the way up to meet your right inhale. Arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Awesome. Everyone, shoot your left foot back. Come directly into a warrior three. Breathe in. Push your palms together right at heart center. Flex your back foot. Lift the knee all the way up. Put it down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, all the way down to the ground. Lift the chest. Inhale. Exhale, step walk or float back. Take your flow. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale. Float to knees. Good. Scoop the left foot in between the hands. Tuck the back toe under. Airplane lunge. Hold. Crescent lunge. Warrior two, open your left knee, flip your palm, peaceful warrior, stay with me right here, breathe in. Exhale, straighten the left leg. Ah, I know that's the secret. It's like the surprise. Feel that great stretch in the left hip. Now, straight legs, cartwheel the arms to triangle. Good, so your hand can go on your shin, it can go on your block, or it can go to the ground. Your hips are working to push forward. Good, now your right hand goes down, your left hand goes to the left side, pivot your back foot, springboard it up. Square your hips, great option. Use the block over here to create just some support and some space, but we're trying to stretch out your left hamstring here. Breathe in. Exhale, maybe even rock forward, rock back on this side, noticing how this side feels versus the other side. Good, everyone. Slowly bring your right foot up to meet your left. Bring the arms all the way up. Hands come into heart center. Awesome. You're going to stand all your weight on your left leg. Shoot your right foot back. Warrior three. Breathe in. And exhale. You take your hands back behind you and push them up to the ceiling. And then slowly lift the chest, lift the knee high, bring the hands back to heart center, put the foot down, inhale, arms up. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale, gaze up, straight spine. Exhale, step walk or jump back. Take your flow. Beautiful work, everyone. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Shake out the head, neck, shoulders, look to the front of the room. Step, walk, or lightly float forward. Reach the arms up. And then hands to heart center. Good. Everyone, left foot pushes back. We're going back to warrior three. And then we're going to come directly into tree pose. So you're going to hold that warrior three. You're going to lift the chest, lift the knee, then take it out to the side. 
option also to bring it all the way up into the groin here, whatever feels best, hands to heart center to start. And then you can take your arms up and open, loop your thumb and your index finger together. Maybe gaze up, breathe in, exhale. Good, everyone, slowly put the hands down, shake out the ankles, tell the person next to you, great job. Really great balance for today, team. Wow, awesome. Everyone, shake out the legs, circle the ankles around. Good, so you want to rinse out. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Find your focus spot on the ground, okay? Find your focus spot. Take your right knee up, then shoot it straight back. Warrior three. Great balance for a great core work. You know where we're heading. We're going to right into a knee lift and then right into tree pose. So lift that knee up, set, open. It can come here on the shin or it can come all the way up. Whatever feels better for your body, your hands can stay here or lift them up. Good. Maybe challenge yourself. Shift your gaze. Anyone want to try closing their eyes? Maybe one eye. Good, everyone, hold it one more breath. Open the knee, great balance work. Exhale, down, awesome job. Everyone, take the legs wide. Okay, one hand on the low belly, one hand on the hips, tuck the hips under, close the eyes, relax the jaw, breathe in. Exhale, I want you to keep this formation here of the hips being tucked under as you enter into low yoga squat. A lot of times when I do yoga, low yoga squat, my hips go back. But I want you to come to work straight down, straight down, straight down. Keeping the little tuck under the hips so much better for your back. If you want to find your block and find a spot to sit on your block for a minute, do so. We're coming into low yoga squat. Open through the hips, use the elbows. Really open the knees, thumbs, right in heart center, chest, head lifts, head comes down. Good, maybe release your block, maybe adjust for a moment, maybe take the block down to a different level. Just take a moment here, sink in, breathe in. Exhale, drop the head down, breathe into this. Let the hips continue to sink, sink, and sink. Left hand down, right arm up, reach and stretch the side body. Hands back to heart center. Good, right hand down, left arm. Allow the hips to continue to sink. And then come back to the center. Good, everyone, turn the toes forward. Lift the hips. Straighten the legs. Shake the head side to side. Good, now bend the knees. Turn the toes out. Drop back in. Low yoga squat. We're going to do three of these. It's called squat to stand. Really good for your hip mobility. Toes forward. Hips, maybe you take your hands with you. Intentional arm work as you come back to heart center, sink into low yoga squat. Legs are wide, toes turn forward, lift. Remember, resist the urge to rush or to hurry this. Breaths back the last time. Great hamstring stretch, great hip opening here. Hold that low yoga squat. We're going to take the option to hold low yoga squat. If you want to come into crow pose, you would rise up to tippy toes, nestle your knees up onto your triceps, start to bring those toes together. Crow pose is a great option. You could also work some headstands or maybe a few kicks to handstands. Just take a moment if you want to do any arm balances here or even hold and low yoga squat. Take a moment. Pigeon 
toes bothers your knee, flip over on your back for figure four. Personally, I love to take my block and place it under my right hip. So you a little more support and then come down to either elbows or straight arms. Take a breath in and then exhale. Again, come back to the breath there. Breathe in, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. Inhale. And exhale. 
exhale. Great work. Remove the block, extend the feet straight up to the ceiling. Circle the ankles, drop the left leg down, keep the right leg lifted, make a clasp behind your right calf. Lift your head up, gonna be a one and two, and now switch. One and two. Good, now put your head down, keep that ab activation, and stretch the back of the leg. Good, the long scissor legs here. Long stretch for four and three and two and one. Good, both feet in the air. Hug the knees in. Bring both knees over to the right side. Right hand on top, left arm out to the side. Turn the head to the arm that's lifted. Notice the shoulder blades. Soften the eyelids, soften the jaw. Take a long, deep inhale in, and an exhale. Slowly bring the knees back into the chest. Hug them in through the center, and then bring them over to the side. Breath in, exhale. Everyone, three count, inhale in. Long exhale. One more long. Inhale in. Exhale. So we bring the knees all the way back into the chest. Extend the feet straight up to the ceiling one last time. Then split the knees wide. Reach the hands to the outsides of your pinky toes. Coming into a happy baby. Let like you're walking on the ceiling. Flex your feet and rock to the right. Massage the spine. Rock to the left. Rock to the right. And rock to the left. Take one more long, deep inhale in. And a long exhale, hug the knees into the chest. And then exhale out onto the mat, resting angel. Feet flat up to the sides, palms facing up to the ceiling. Rest. Breathe in, my presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. Receive, exhale, surrender, and trust. The acronym for rest. So link your
you reach the arms now up and over the head and turn up the corners of your lips in gratitude for the time that you made, for the many gifts and blessings that you have. The biggest one being the presence of God. He says, I will go with you and I will give you rest. Slowly bring your knees up in the chest, roll over to the side, cradling your knees in the small of your chest. Take an inhale in. And an exhale. Just taking these last few transitional breaths that we're in here. Set your mind as you move into the next part of your day. Greeting yourself with a little more kindness, compassion, and flexibility. Take one more breath in. And an exhale. So lay carefully, maybe back seated on your mat. Legs are crossed. You can take your hands at heart center or leave your hands on your knees, whatever will feel best to you. May you leave here blessed by God's peace and transform by his great love for you. We'll take a big inhale in together, sealing our practice. Inhale in. Exhale.